Hello, hello, <laughs> my dear sewing friends. Today I would love to share with you my handmade, thrifted, and upcycled wardrobe for winter. And no, <laughs> this is not the latest runway collection, but it is a wardrobe that I absolutely love and actually wear on a daily basis. And those are the two super, probably the most important things for me when it comes to sewing my own garments. Because a lot of times, and correct me if I'm wrong, what happens is, we sew a ton influenced by a lot of the trends and Instagram and things like that, yet we still have absolutely nothing to wear. So I truly hope that this will give you that spark of inspiration to fine tune your creative voice and hopefully make garments that you will actually love and wear. And we also have an amazing sponsor for today. So I've partnered with Wonder Label. They are a company that makes custom labels that you would sew on onto your handmade garments. I know we've spoken about it before especially when making gifts for your loved ones and friends and family just to add that special touch so later in the video there's also going to be a discount code for you as well and I will also share with you the labels that I ordered for myself as well so maybe you'll gain some inspiration let's get started with the easiest category of them all at least in my case and those are pants or bottoms you might have some skirts in your wardrobe who knows so for me those are three pairs of pants and for the last couple of years I have proclaimed my love through and through for for a really nice wide leg pant. I absolutely love it. And that's what you see right over here. The first one is a wide leg denim pant that I made quite a few years back. The second one is exactly the same pattern, but in a suit-like fabric, but you can dress it up and dress it down without a problem. I've been doing that for a few years now and I absolutely love it. The third one here is your classic skinny jean, and I'm actually working on replacing these. I bought these many, many, many years ago. I still wear them, but with years. <laughs> I'm realizing that I don't have the flexibility and range of movements in my knees in these skinny jeans like I would in a skinny pan that has a little bit more give and fabric. So in a couple of months or so, I'll probably replace these with another pair of handmade pants. Now, I also have to mention that I don't have a problem with repeating my outfits. I know that for some people it's a big no-no, but for me, I was raised that way. I feel totally fine with repeating outfits. So as always, you have to do what's right for you. Plus, your winter time might be a lot colder than what we have here. Here, winters are pretty mild, so you're not gonna see heavy puff jackets over here or anything else like that. So you have to do what's right for you and make clothes that you will wear and you will love. And now we're moving on to the tops. Now these first two, the short sleeve t-shirt and the long sleeve t-shirt, I actually made quite a few years back. And just recently I repaired some little holes in them so that way I can love and enjoy and wear them again and again. They're very simple, but I love the versatility that they give me when I'm getting dressed because they pretty much go with everything. And then this one I love because it gives me all the festive vibes of fall and winter season without necessarily being too obvious. <laughs> I know that this is a very common pattern for winter season, especially here in the United States, but paired with some of the beige tones that we have over here, I feel that it gives me that calm and festiveness and just all of the vibes of the season. These next two used to be a dress and a tunic. And you know, um, I actually came to a realization that my imaginary self does wear dresses from time to time. But my real self, this one <laughs> that's standing right in front of you, barely ever reaches for them. So I took the dresses that I've made, not all of them, I'm still working on it, but most of them. And then I took the dresses that I've bought years ago and I chopped them off and turned them into tops. And I can tell you since then, I have worn them 25, 50, maybe even 100 times more than I used to wear them as dresses. And I'm so happy that I get to enjoy the labor of my creativity and my love in sewing. And also those clothes that I bought years ago, but they were just sitting in a closet collecting dust. So really the takeaway is make clothes or buy clothes for your real self things that you will actually wear and love and will make you feel good about yourself. 
This one was a thrifted upcycle. I added these cute little ruched sleeves because sleeves are a little bit too long and I also fixed the hole and fixed the hem. And you can see that in this season of my life I'm really gravitating towards stripes. I wasn't planning this way, it just sort of happened. And another takeaway that I've really discovered over the years is that I don't try to adhere to anybody else's rules about capsule wardrobes or handmade wardrobes or anything else like that. It it makes absolutely no sense to box yourself into somebody else's box. You have to do what's right for you. And then I have a white and a gray t-shirt that goes really well underneath these two sweaters. The blue one was a gift from my mom a couple years ago and I loved it so much. I wore it so much during winter season that I copied that using zero waste design elements and I made this pink one. And what zero waste pattern cutting is, basically you're trying to arrange the pattern in such manner that when you're cutting out fabric, you have either very, very, very little fabric waste or none at all. And by the way, for all of these makes, there are videos on my channel. Sometimes people will comment saying that, oh, I love what you're making, but how? I have no idea. How do I make it myself? Or what are the techniques? Everything is on my channel. Just go ahead, take a look. There's like a treasure trove of videos so you will find what you're looking for. Now this little number and that blue blouse that you saw me wear at the beginning of this video are the two pieces that I wear when I want to when I want to feel a little fancier, still very comfortable, not too exaggerated, but a little fancier than just casual wear, so a bit more elevated. And I love it because as I mentioned, they're comfortable, they're versatile, you can dress them up, dress them down, but they do add a touch of that interesting element. And of course, I love me some good turtleneck for fall, winter, and uh, even early spring season. And this one is quite loose in a body, so really comfy, but fitted in the sleeves, and I like that contrast. And I also made it a little bit longer than most of the other tops that I have here. So you can wear it as is, almost like a tunic, or you can tuck it in, it's really up to you. And once you see all of the jackets on, then I really think that it all comes together and becomes a, this cohesive, easy to wear wardrobe that I absolutely love and that I wear, actually wear on a daily basis. But before I show you the jackets, I know I promised to share with you what kind of labels I got. So let's take a look. So I ordered four different types of labels, small quantities, just to see which ones I will use the most and then I can reorder. These pink ones, they say from my heart to yours, and I ordered them primarily for adding them onto clothing for my little one and for any other little kids in our extended family that I occasionally make stuff for. And I think this is just a, such a cute little sentiment. Besides, this is a woven label that also adheres uh, to Okatex standard. And we're going to be talking about it quite a bit in future videos. So that's why I chose this one, and I think it's cute. This next one, I thought, you know what? Going to look so great on some of the gifts that I make. It's also a bigger label, and it's so smooth, it's really nice. And all of the graphics were available on their website right away, so I didn't have to upload anything. But when I saw this sort of patchwork background and these blues and teals, I was like, yeah. This, this screams my name, so I thought this would be absolutely perfect. And I think, what do you think? I think this is going to look really cute sewn into this jacket. These next ones are a little bit pricier than what I would usually go for, but they're real leather and they say one of a kind, just like you, made with love and the occasional swear word by Elisa. I ordered these specifically for my husband. And then I also ordered care labels and for that I want to use the fabric markers. Okay, <laughs> so my idea did not work out, but in the gist, what happened was I ordered these care labels, but instead of writing what type of fabric that is, because obviously when we sew at home, we work with a variety of different fibers. I left that space blank in hopes that I could use a fabric marker to write that in, but in my opinion, it just doesn't look nice enough because the marker does bleed. So I think I'll be passing on that in the future, but it was totally my mistake. Nothing on the labels themselves. But I did sew in this one into that little jacket that I showed you a little bit earlier and I think that it looks 
absolutely wonderful so thanks Wunderlabel for sponsoring this video now if you are ordering from United States Canada or Europe I do have a 15% discount code for you guys and I will leave it underneath this video but do use it though <laughs> because it's only good for a couple of months and a quick disclaimer I do get a small percentage as a commission from these orders but it doesn't come out of your pocket and as always you have to do what's right for you so only order if you need them. But if you were looking for some labels, I definitely enjoyed mine from Wonder Label. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about jackets. This is Sherpa jacket or Sherpa half coat, <laughs> whichever you want to call it. I made it a few years back and despite it seeming to be quite thin, it's actually pretty thick and warm. I wore it together with this turtleneck at the very end of November in Ohio, which usually is colder than we have here. And I was sweating. <laughs> so it's definitely one of those go-to items when the weather turns colder. This next one is a jacket that I made recently and it goes so well. I've worn it so many times already, so it's definitely a winner. And if you are a member of this channel, then there is a tutorial on how to do these zipper pockets super easy. There's also a tutorial how to do the facing for the zipper and how to sew the neckline for a jacket like this as well. So definitely thank you so, so much for being a member and check out your members perks. Next one is this cozy cardigan that is slightly longer but a nice puffy sleeve, super cozy, super versatile. Again, goes really well with pretty much everything that I have. And I made it a few years back and I'm still getting a lot of wear out of it. And then, of course, we have my patchwork jacket. You've probably seen a video for it uh, last year and um, I love it. <laughs> I really do. And it is quite thick one as well. So it provides enough warmth and comfort for me to be able to wear it during winter time. And of course, you don't have to toss out anything that you already have or start sewing like a mad person, but sometimes simple adjustments can do all the magic for you. So check out this video right over here. I show you five garments and five simple things that I do to them so that way I can love and wear them again and again. Thank you so much for watching. I truly hope that this was insightful, inspirational, and enjoyable. Until next time, happy, thoughtful sewing. Bye!